Chapter 3 India, my India, the land of my dreams. On the eve of independence, reflective I sit, gazing on the summer sky, dark but starlit. The sky that stares down on my country and chanting, steeped in culture and tradition, endowed with beauty and trancing. I conjure up diverse fascinating scenes of India, my India, the land of my dreams. Her mighty Himalayas magnificent arise. Her rolling place were that under azure skies. Her life-giving streams that bubble and dance. Over pebble and boulder as they gurgle and prance. Her forests luxuriant with creeper and vine. Appear in their glory before these eyes of mine. The tawny striped tiger, the peacock imperial. The chattering playful monkeys, the elephant regal. I picture them while protected yet free, to roam mid rock, bush, grassland and tree. There is a vista of beaches with golden sand shining, the pounding surf, frothy sparkling and glistening. The sea is full of life in countless forms, the miles of brave coastlines weathering many a storm. By river so scared, I dream of Ashoka. A pillar of strength, a monarch of power. I follow the Buddha's path of moderation. That preaches a creed gained through prayer and meditation. I remember with pride the Mughal sublime. As I marvel at their monuments, a gift for all time. At the stroke of the midnight hour, my reverie is broken by a wild clamor. As they march in array before these privileged orbs, the fairy Subhash, with his nationalist corpse, the humble Mahatma with ideology gentle, the vibrant Nehru with energy indefatigable, the victors they glide past one by one, it seems a stream of warriors will never be done. Often clouds cover these stars so bright, and sometimes dark and dreary appears the long night. But soon the fresh sun heralds the morn, once again a new day is born. From the distant mosque, the mullah raises a call to devotees to chant their praises. At the temple near, the pujari will soon say, The sacred own with the faithful who pray. The church bells joyfully carol and ring. In reverence all his followers sing. From Gurudwara imposing tributes arise to the one whose values above all prize. My India respects all who live on the earth. We honor the one who on you gave us birth. Humbly I add my plea to the Lord above, to share my land with his infinite love. Give us, O Master, your grace divine, that we may no longer yearn or pine. For peace and prosperity for this country of ours, for comfort and happiness to fill our bowers. To each give enough according to his need, to each give your wisdom for this we plead. That our granaries may be replete with grain in plenty, that in shelter and covering and knowledge we are wealthy. Teach us, O Lord, like brothers to live, your tolerance, your understanding, each other to give, that my vision no more a vision may seem, but India, my India, the land of my dream.